Okay, so bagging without peep? Yes. You see how the lung collapsed? So we're not really recruiting hardly any alveoli. They're just going in and going out. Okay. How fast he's squeezing that bag. All right, now we're going to add peep to this. Okay, peep supplied. Yeah, you can absolutely see the alveoli being recruited by the hundreds of thousands, which is why the lungs are staying. So they stay inflated nice much airway. longer. And you can't over over ventilate this patient? You can. You certainly can. So you adjust your peep anywhere from 5 to 20. 20 is the max that it would do. And you just watch the patient. You're driving for an O2 sat of around 94. It doesn't even need to be you know, 100%. And you adjust your peep accordingly. The only way you can increase the FiO2 when they're already on 100% O2, the only way to increase that number is through peak. Not by breathing faster. That's going to cause more intravascular pressure, decreasing the cardiac output, decreasing the SpO2, causing you to bag faster, and then you just get into this vicious cycle of bagging death. What, so, what's your current peep setting? So our current peep setting on this one right now is, is 20, 20, 20 millimeters of mercury. So we can back it back down. <laughs> Okay, this is 10. So this is 10 of peep. Still, you can see it's recruiting out of Eli. This is 15. This is 5 of peep right here. So you can see that's our physiologic norm. That's almost like not having a peep valve on at all. So that's 5. You can just cruise this up to 10. Now we'll get more functional reserve volume. We got more tidal volume now going on. We're recruiting tens of thousands of Eli. There's 15. We're starting to just get into that, mm -hmm. that bagging nose, and then there's 20. And you can see the difference when flight crews bring people, when we put people on our ventilator on PEEP, and then if you go to ventilate the patient with the BVM, you don't have a PEEP valve on, watch what happens to your lungs. So let's say the crew doesn't know what they're doing, or the ventilator's alarming, or worse, you get them in the hospital, RT's there bagging them, watch what happens to my lungs when I take away that PEEP, and you just go straight BVMing. Look what happens. We lose all our pressure. Oh, and then some, yeah, so, like you were like in the negative. Only. Yes, so it clinically doesn't make sense for anybody on a ventilator of 6 to 10 to 20 a piece. Like, oh, I don't know what's going on. The ventilator is alarming. Pulling them off and BBing them, BBing them without the peak valve. They clinically cannot get better. People squeeze faster, but that's horrible. So you got a patient and you're BVMing them and they're saturating, they're saturating, they're saturating. Um, you throw that peep valve on and you keep that O2 in their lungs longer. Look, and you recruit that, those alveoli. Recruiting alveoli. Yeah. What's the hardest part about blowing up a balloon? The fact that it's pushing back against you. The initial, once you get that balloon going, it's easier. easier to blow up. So that's what your peep is really doing. Cool. It's, it's, the it's already a pressure there, yeah. and then when you try to inflate it, it's that yep. much easier. Yep. Use it. Use it. I'm in a mistake of not using it. Yeah. 